Sheikh Yusuf rahimahullah describes. He says that strength in the heart is created through dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the Quran repeatedly, repeatedly, not in one place, again and again, it invites us to be in a state of dhikr. Because as you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ghafla disappears. These are two opposites, heedlessness and remembrance of Allah. Every time you remember Allah. And if you're, if you're looking for a reason why you should remember Allah, if there was no virtue in the hadith at all, and if there was only this one part of an ayah that existed regarding the virtue of remembering Allah, it was sufficient. Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ There is no virtue greater than this right here. Remember me, I shall remember you. Remember me, I shall remember you. Stoned, intoxicated, covered in tears, torn apart, confused, unworthy, Remember me, I shall remember you. So the Shaykh said that remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates strength in your heart. But remembering Allah creates a fort for you to exist in that is made of straw. If you actually want to be in a fort that is unbreakable, that'll happen through remembering Allah by engaging with the Quran. That's not weak, that's strong. Because the Qur'an is a very powerful reminder. When you read the Qur'an, you find lessons. Your past, your future, your present. Legal guidance. The Qur'an teaches us what to do, what not to do, morality. In a world where right and wrong is absolutely subjective. You know, someone was saying this to me earlier, that if you watch most of the movies today, what's the story? The story is that there is an evil person, and that evil person, the whole movie is about establishing how this person in reality, even though the world views them as evil, is not actually evil. They are a result of their circumstances. It's all about empathizing with evilness and removing the negative connotation of evil. In a world where people don't know what's right and wrong anymore, it's all about social media votes. Is... Islam pro this or is it pro that? As Muslims, we have in furqan. We have the Quran that is our criterion of right and wrong. Connect with that Quran. Read the stories of the prophets in the Quran, and every one of those stories will tell you one thing. There was a person that loved Allah, Allah tested them, and they remained loyal to Allah. Allah froze their loyalty in time for mankind to remember till, till as long as this world remains. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects those that are loyal to Him. Connect yourself to the Quran. Don't be afraid to pick it up. Don't be afraid to understand and try to sit with understanding what the Quran says. You owe it to yourself to at least read the Qur'an with its translation one time before you part this world. You owe it to yourself to understand what Fatiha is when you're reading it because that is your path to Allah. As you're looking for ways to spiritually grow, know that the journey begins and it ends through ascending with the Qur'an. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all and allow us to build meaningful relationships. May Allah azza wa jal keep us in the company of the Qur'an, the people of the Qur'an. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow each and every one of us here to have those special powerful moments, those private intimate moments with the Qur'an. 